One of the ways to, to describe the disk changes were given by Smith and his colleague. They call this the disk damage likelihood scale. They classify the disks depending on the size into three main categories. An average size disk where the diameter is between one and a half to two millimeters. If it's less than that, this is the small size disk. If it's larger than that, this is the large size disk. And you see this classification starts from one up to 10. Depending on, they start to measure the neural rim tissue all around. And to figure out the, the narrowest part of the neural rim tissue, and they start depending on this narrowest area of the neural rim tissue to have their classification. Okay, here. In the first stage, you get the narrowest part of the neural tim area is from 0.04 to 0.5. If you move around and you find the narrowest part is say 3.5, then it will be stage two. Stage two, the, the values between three to three, nine, almost four. Between two and three, you get stage three. Between one and two, you get stage four. Less than one, you get stage five. That's to say, you are going to write down the thickness of the neural tissue in the different sectors. If the thinnest part in the circumference all around is say 0.25, then it should be here, the value 0.25 here. So according to this classification, it's stage three. Now, if you get an area with zero neural tissue, then see the extent of this zero area. Is it 40 degrees? Is it 60 degrees? It's 100 degrees of the circumference? Then you get this classification. In stage five, you get less than one, but not zero. In stage six, you get zero occurring in less than 45 degrees of the circumference. In stage seven, you get this zero between 45 and 90 degrees of the circumference. Then between next stage between 90 degrees and 180. Next stage more than 180, less than 270 then more than 270. This is the last stage.